Hi guys. Tonight I'm going to do what I, I call this fall head soup. Uh, somebody gave me this gigantic cabbage. This thing is huge. And I've already cleaned off all the outer leaves off from it. And now where the stem is, we're going to cut that straight across. Now, because we want to try to get it to set up. All right. So we're going to take a little more off the bottom. But any of the good cabbage, don't throw it away because you can use it. But you're just pretty much cutting it until you get most of the stem gone. There's going to be a little bit of stem left in there, but you'll take that out once it's cooked. Now we're going to cut what I call a cap. Try to keep it as round as you can because that's going to be your lid to put back on it. And believe me, it is not easy. There we go. I just put that to the side. Now, skinnier, longer knife and a spoon. Start cutting. We want a dip in it. Like, like we're going to turn it into a bowl. But this is the hardest part. And, and just keep going in sideways and cutting and and just start digging it out and we're just going to keep cutting it out like that until I get to the depth that I want to and then I'll be right back all right so now we got our bowl made Now, I chopped up about one cup of celery, and to that, I'm going to add some uh, dehydrated carrots. And the reason I use dehydrated carrots is because they're cut thinner, and by the time that the carrots rehydrate and cook, then it keeps up match with the other stuff. They don't overcook. All right. We're going to mix those and we're going to put some in the bottom. Then I've got some kielbasa sausage here and I just uh, cut off what I wanted of it. All right. Then we're going to start cutting that up. Now you can just cut it in the round circle parts or sometimes do like I do and just cut it like this. Now we're not going to put any kind of oils or anything like that in it because this kielbasa sausage has a lot of uh, lard in it. So your lard from your sausage is going to come out and cook your cabbage and that's how your cabbage is going to get its flavor. You can put as much as you want or as little. I just don't really count it not by like cup of this, cup of this. I just uh, cut it out and put it in there until I think it's enough. To flavor the whole head. And just keep pushing her down in there. Alright then we're gonna put some more celery and carrots on top. Now I'm not going to salt this either because the uh, sausage has got so much salt in it. Okay, we're going to put our head, our uh, lid back on it. 
and you'll know how it goes because you can see where the the uh, what do you call it the stem meets the vein and we're going to lift this up we're going to set it right in the bottom of our crock pot and then that thing just fit and then I'm going to put two cups of water around it and that's mainly just to steam it and plus keep it from burning but about yeah about two cups of water or you can use chicken broth or you can use uh, beef broth I prefer not to uh, because it just takes away from the sausage flavor to me but you do whatever you want you know what you like all right now we're gonna put the lid on this we're gonna put it on low and I'm gonna cook this all night on low and we'll show you in the morning what it looks like all right here we go guys Ooh, doesn't that look good now I let this cook overnight so now we're gonna cut it oh gosh it it smells freaking amazing Smells so good. And there it is. Cabbage head soup. Sausage, carrots, celery, hollowed out head of cabbage. Put everything in the middle of it. Slide it down in your slow cooker and cook it slowly overnight it's uh, amazing and the whole cabbage tastes like uh, kielbasa sausage all of that flavor went into the cabbage I hope you guys give it a try you can decorate this up however you want to all right guys thank you for watching